God bless you, saints. I just want to share with you the uh, dangers of street preaching. Um, I street preached um, a lot when I was in California. Now I'm in Pakistan, so street preaching, no. Just mostly it's uh, in the church or in or out, outdoor meetings that are organized. It's a good, like very different type of environment here. But I want to share with you about street preaching and the dangers of it and even the idolatry of street preaching that can really hinder your spiritual life. And uh, we need to become mature saints in the Lord. And, um, and street preaching is a wonderful way to share your faith. Um, I hold the signs. Um, I st open air preach. One-on-one -on -one evangelism. You know, I've done all these things. But I can tell you that there are dangers to street preaching if you are not mature it will it will really affect you big time and when i was at cal poly you know uh, i got joined up with a group where we would go out on friday nights and saturday nights to preach the gospel um to the to the kids to the young college uh, students that are out there drinking and partying and this and that you know and i and the first time I went out with my friend and did it, I just felt like real zeal to keep doing it. And I had a good time. It actually made me read the Bible more um, because people had questions. And so I wanted to know, I wanted to know more of the scriptures able to defend my faith. It was great. Um, but then it also started to affect my perception of other Christians. And this is exactly what I want to talk about here in this video. Um, I be came very very critical of other people in the body of christ and i did what james 3 talks about like who are you to judge your brother and i began to look down on other believers in my church or in my fellowship who did not go out and preach in the streets like i did in fact i even looked down on my leadership the people that helped me to, to grow in my faith, the people that helped me um, in my walk with God, I, I began to look down on them because they were not out there street preaching and saving the world like, like me and my friends, you know? And I started to see them as lukewarm, started seeing them as they were not even really Christians because, you know, Jesus says, go in all the world and preach the gospel to, uh, to every, every creature. And so I began to see them differently. And it led to a serious, serious issue of pride, criticism, and being judgmental. Rather than using my zeal to, um, you know, to help build up the church, I was actually starting to divide the people in the church. Like, that was really bad, right? Um, and because there is a sense of, like, like heroism, when you're when you're out there because you know you get you get laughed at people they scream at you they throw stuff at you they call the police on you and you know, all these type of things that happen when we're out there um you know so you feel like you really are going to war it does there is a sense of that right and so when you go into your into the fellowship where people are you know not doing those things you start to think like you know what like maybe these guys are not really like that legit, <laughs> basically, right? So, so I started to really um, lose my respect for a lot of the Christians that I, I was fellowshiping with before because they would not be street preaching. The thing is, street preaching is just a, a, a form of reaching out to people. There are other forms of, of reaching out. And, um, and so that was a problem for me because I thought this was like the only way or the best way to go out and reach the lost. That is a way, right? So <clears throat> I just encourage you to be careful. Uh, when you go out there to street preach, make sure that you are a, a prayerful person as well. Don't go out street preaching if you do not love the people that you're ministering to. I saw a minister on, on YouTube the other day where a man said, you know, I don't want eternal life. I don't want eternal life. So the street preacher said, the street preacher said, so what, you would rather burn all eternity? And the guy said, yeah, I guess I would. And then the street preacher said, well, then you should light yourself on fire, you know, and let's get the party started. 
And a person that is, you know, filled with the Holy Spirit and that is, you, you can't say that, that kind of word to a non-believer and, and joke and jokingly say, you know, light yourself on fire. I'm not saying that guy is not a Christian. I'm saying in that moment, what he was saying was not spirit filled. Um, people headed to eternity is a terrible thing, a terrible thought. And we should not be joking with people's eternal destinies. And as a street preacher, we should be concerned. We should be loving them. We should be, um, you know, concerned about their eternal life. So it's not a place to be out, out there joking about people's eternity. And, and you have to also watch yourself from pride. Watch yourself from uh, having a lack of compassion for people. You know, I'll say this: if if you don't if you don't cry for souls, if the eternal destiny of souls does not bother your heart, don't go out and street preach. They need people out there who have compassion for for people's souls. You care about these people. You weep for these people. You pray for these people. Um, there are street preachers out there that just want to make sure. That, that people know they're going to hell. That's it. That's really why they're out there. They're not really out there to win brothers to the Lord. They're not out there for that. Um, so, so protect yourself from that. Make sure that if you are out on a team that is street preaching, that the people that you are ministering with, they are, they are kind, they are, they are um, respectful, they are bold, yet compassionate. Um, if you are part of a, a ministry that does not demonstrate that type of fruit, I will get out of there uh, because you will get a religious spirit in you and you will you will just have you, the love of God in you will just grow very, very cold and you just keep going out there doing like doing that. But your relationship with Jesus Christ will absolutely suffer. I'm telling you now, you will suffer spiritually. You will be dry you will have lack of compassion for pe for pe pe like people in your life, um, and so just make your make uh, yeah just make sure that your heart is always in a place of being soft, moldable, teachable, and you're able to extend compassion to pe to other pe pe people around you. All right. And there was another one other point that I wanted to make. Yes, street preaching can become. Um, a formula that you do not want to be stuck in, right? We are called to be led by the Spirit, right? As you do life, God is working. God is working um, through uh, around you um, at the store, on the street, at your job, at the hospital, wherever um, God is always working around you and sometimes he wants to grab your attention and he says hey join me in this situation pray for this person who is sick go call this person right uh, a problem is when you get stuck to street preaching you only stick to street preaching but you're unable to uh, join Holy Spirit in other um, other activities outside of street preaching you think oh i don't have my sign right now i don't have my gospel tracks i don't have my bullhorn i don't have this so let me wait till friday night to go out and do that no no the lord uh, needs uh, wants to use you at any time right at any place and so do not allow street preaching to become an idol to a point like it is the only form of reaching out to people that you will participate in. No, you cannot do that. There are times where Holy Spirit will tell you, hey, go buy that person some food, spend time with that person, talk with that person, buy that guy some shoes. Like make sure that street preaching does not become your idol and your comfort zone because street preaching can become your, your, your comfort zone and then it's no longer you're, you're no longer walking by faith anymore now you're stuck in a formula and you don't want to do that so i hope that makes sense so number one uh, street preaching can lead to a pride and looking down on other christians who don't street preach so watch yourself for that um, the body of christ uh, is unique and people have different giftings, different callings, uh, different levels of, of grace to do those things. So 
Make sure that if you enjoy street preaching, it's good for you to enjoy that. Go out and do that. But don't attack other Christians. Don't look down on other Christians who do not street preach. And make yourself available to train others who may want to learn how to street preach and help them. But if those if others are resistant, don't look down on them. Pray for them, you know. And I hope that they are they do other forms of reaching out to, to their community. Yes, yeah, so make sure you, you do that. Um, number two, don't get stuck on street preaching. There's other forms of ministering to people around you. Make sure it does not become an idol in your life. Um, you, you must be fluid. You must be led by the Spirit of God. And so don't stick to just one form of evangelism or reaching out to anybody. Don't do that. You're going to get stuck. And three, make sure that you have compassion for the people that you're reaching out to. You love them. You know, don't be a jerk. Don't uh, come off to people like you wish that they're going to hell. Um, ensure that you have a broken heart for, for sinners. You know, make sure you are a person that prays for, for the lost. Make sure you are a person that prays. If you're a part of a group that does not show compassion, they don't share concern, they don't have love, they don't have forgiveness, they don't show mercy, get out of that group because they will literally destroy your spiritual life with Christ. Yes, yes. Look to Jesus. Look for the fruits of Jesus Christ in your group. If love is not there, compassion, forgiveness, mercy, patience is not there, move on and find another group to minister with because that will literally lead you into a very, very dark place. So, yeah. So, hope that makes sense. Don't let street preaching become an idol. Um, and don't, yeah, don't let it consume your life. Let the Holy Spirit control you and work through you to win the lost. God bless you.